newbie reporting for duty with the OG TAC 56, the mainstay assault rifle of Modern Warfare 2 for rank play and for Call of Duty League. Let's take a look at the configuration. I'm going to start with the 60 round mag. That'll give us the damage, headshots 46, upper torso and lower torso and upper legs are 33, so it's decent damage. The fire rate is 625 rounds per minute, about 10 rounds per second, so we could easily calculate the times to kill. The effective damage range, it reaches out to 27.6 meters, and that's also the minimum damage range. The bullet velocity is 672.5 meters per second. Fairly accurate. Gun kick, 33 degrees per second. The horizontal recoil, you may have to account for that, is 12.16 degrees per second, and vertical recoil is 45 degrees per second. The hip fire sped, nothing really to write home about now. 60 round mag. The configurations that newbie gives are for newbie and you can try some of them they may work for you i change configuration based on the mode that i'm playing i may take off all mags in small map mouse pit but in free for all which is what we're going to play i'm going to use the 60 round mag so i can get multi kills get that power that 46 headshot damage out there and continue to spam because people camp in corners people camp down long lanes and you've got to be able to reach out and touch them. The ADS speed isn't great, but we're not going to cry about it at 261 milliseconds. Reload quickness, though, for the 60 round mag is only 3 seconds. Partially empty, 3.3 fully empty. Sprint to fire speed, average-ish at 212 milliseconds. FSS combat grip helps with that composite recoil control. TV cardinal stock. That one helps with tactical sprint speed and ADS movement speed. It's basically the ADS movement speed we're looking for there because the rest of it 4% and 2% doubt you'll notice a difference. At least I won't. I'll go with the Mark III reflector. Doesn't give us anything but glass. And finally, the 12-inch tack short barrel that helps with that fairly pedestrian ADS speed, but it does bring down the damage, but we're okay with that. 28 meters, that's a good damage range. It does take down the bullet velocity, but we're not going to worry about that either. Helps with the hip fire spread max a little bit and the tack stance spread, which we're not even going to use. The main reason I put this barrel barrel on was for the ADS speed. So let's take this beast onto the field of honor, this OG TAC 56, and see how it does. Let's get into this. So first, let's compare the TAC 56 to a meta configuration of MCW. Red is bad for the TAC 56. Green is good. Highlighted red, very bad. Highlighted green, very good. And you can see the headshot damage is a place of the TAC 56 shines. And the headshot damage per second, 39 damage more per second than the MCW. The upper torso, lower torso, and upper legs damage per second, though, goes to the MCW. It looks like Grandpa's asleep there. So let's look at the ranges and kill metrics. Essentially the same effective damage range, but the MCW has a longer minimum damage range. Look at the headshot time to kill, though. All headshots, 36 milliseconds faster for the TAC-56, 60 milliseconds faster for the MCW everywhere else. But you mix in one headshot and you get that 384 millisecond time to kill, which beats the MCW all day. Recoil, MCW is the king there, but surprisingly the TAC-56 is the king of hip fire and tack stance. ADS slightly better, but sprint to fire speed. That's where the TAC-56 definitely has an advantage. So let's take this into Stash House, free for all, and see how we do. So far, so good. I mean, the TAC-56, I don't notice the recoil at all. MCW is a laser dot. Oop, what are you doing? He's looking in the library about to sit down with a good novel. We got the Red Druid. The Red Druid was after us. And somebody's taking a shower. G Gak's poor grandpa. There's the Red Druid. Oh, look at him. Look how fast he is. Never seen anything like it. He must be keyboard and mouse. But the TAC-56 
is a straight shooting machine and I did put the 60 round mag on for this one. The bonus footage at the end has a 40 round mag on it. Or actually it has the default mag on it because I was playing team deathmatch. That guy was a, bless his heart, was a free kill. He said he'd been up playing all night. So there we are, head to head, the Red Druid with the BP-50, and I think it was an even fight, and the TAC-56 actually won that engagement. I know somebody's waiting for their driver to go deliver newspapers. Triple kills always help. Hoisted on my own petard, a proximity mine. We popped the Red Druid. I think he was the alternate king. He was uh, Elvis when I wasn't in this game. So I knew I better hunt him down at every opportunity. There's the ADS movement speed is decent. Oh, that's the worst spawn in history. I spawned and then that poor guy spawned in front of me. I'll take it. Red Druids bought the farm there. And as I'm busy dancing left to right, somebody puts one in my noggin. There, no time to stand around. I thought he was already gacked, and uh, he almost got me. Which hold the trigger down to their, to their twitching on the ground. Know what he's doing? If he's aiming down sight down the container, I was down the container. There's a Snickers win. Tac 56 performed quite well in this en engagement, and. I gack a mow on consistent headshots. You can see the four headshots there and by the farm myself. Middling KD. KD counts in free-for-all. So one more, and I love this map. I love Shoot House. Where'd that person go? Oh, there she is in the tactical cocktail dress. And she was another one that could move very fast. There's the hip fire coming into play with attack 56. It just did not miss a beat. And there proves if you put enough shots in somebody's kneecaps, they will fall over. Moby Grape was a good player. He was using a Renetti, and he was fast and elusive. And Grape looking, there's the tactical cocktail dress again. Look at her. Look at her moving around. Just kind of had to wait till she got out and put a couple in her noggin, in her gourd. That guy tried to kill me with a thermal and ended up killing himself. It's called assisted whatever. Don't want to use the word. It's a nasty word. So we're a bit behind. I think Moby Grape was Elvis at this point. And the TAC-56 is still performing well. I warmed up in a team deathmatch game in Das House, like I said, and I, I put that at the end. That's bonus footage. I won't be talking over it. I know you're going to miss my soothing voice. But some of we can't always have the best of everything all the time. But we can certainly, as <laughs> certainly, we can certainly aspire to it. At within 27 meters, which is the effective damage range, this weapon is absolutely dead. There's the tactical evening or cocktail dress, and there she jumps out at me. Look at her move. Got the double kill out of that, which is a good thing. Put out the mosquito. Go, my child. Do work. Classic camping spot on shoot house. On either side, the A and the C side. Somebody put pink mung out there. Strawberry mung. There's Moby Grape. And he's Elvis. It's a tight one. Grandpa can barely contain his excitement. I'm in my shut up and fish shirt. My father-in-law gave it to me. He passed away a couple years ago. Great avid fisherman. There's the white furry Tribble, and Grandpa buys the farm. Actually, he's built up a lead on Moby Grape, but Moby Grape, Moby Grape gets 
double and triple kills with that Renetti of his. So I knew it was going to be a tussle till the end. There's the tactical cocktail dress. And somebody's going to throw a grenade at me, but I just need one more kill, so I'm going to rush them. I'm stunned right there, and I make it. Another vic Snickers victory. One gag. That's it. Moby Grape was good. So, TAC 56, yeah, I think it's still up there with the top ARs in the game. Please like and subscribe. Peace helps me, helps some family. Cheers. Stay tuned for the bonus footage after the rollout on the runway of the F4.
Mission accomplished.